Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to film my what's in my bag video. I got this bag for Christmas. I've only been using it about a week now but I really like it. This is the Rebecca Minkoff Mac. This is their normal size bag. They also have the Mini and the Mac Daddy which is a larger size but I think they've now discontinued that. So this is just their standard Mac and this is in the shade bronze which has been discontinued and I've wanted this bag for years and my mum managed to track it down for Christmas. So you have these studs on the bottom, the normal clasp and then the chain. And so I've been using this as my everyday bag for about a week now. It is quite snug. You can in more than you think you would but I still have to limit the amount of stuff I normally do use a much bigger bag than this the one thing that I would say is a bit of a con to this bag is these straps are quite long they do tend to get caught on a lot of things so I don't know if I'm going to trim those down I'm going to start with the front this is quite hard to get to so I only keep my flat keys in here another thing to be mindful of is because this is leather there are certain sharp objects like my keys that I'm quite mindful could pierce it so I just keep these in the front so I know where they are when I need to get to them and that's the only thing I keep in there so the inside of the bag is just black I know a lot of their bags do have patterns on the inside but this is just a normal black again you can't get this bag anymore so i don't know if the newer bags have slightly different designs so i know this still does have the rebecca minkoff logos on the zips and i think a lot of the new ones don't anymore so the first thing i have in here is my purse this is a mulberry purse i got this for it was either a christmas or a birthday present a couple of years ago from a family friend it is too big for the bag i do need to get a smaller one but i don't have any small purses in the front i've got my debit card my boots card my super drug card and my tesco card those are the ones i use the most although my card has now expired this is my old one i need to switch over to my new one and then the center is just where i keep any other cards that i don't use as often but again this is too big for the bag so i do need to get a new one the next thing i've got is my work pass which i'm not going to show because obviously it's got my name and where i work so i do use this for work as well and then also have my glasses which i really don't like these i've had these about five years now so i don't wear glasses every day i only wear them when i drive but i don't need to wear them day to day although i probably should start wearing them more i got these when i was around 18 when i first started learning to drive and i don't really like these style anymore and also I think my prescription has changed now so I do need to get some new one and then I've got my deodorant this is the smallest size of this I could find this is the right guard woman invisible triple stain protection it's a really good deodorant but I have only been using this for a couple of days but I do really like it. and then I've also got my soap and glory gloss stick and nudist and then my soap and glory hand food this is my favorite hand cream ever so I always have to have this as well and then I've got my bus ticket and then in this purse I have my sunglasses and also my backup phone charger so these are my sunglasses I got these off depop these are what these look like they're meant to be a dupe of the Dior So Real sunglasses. I paid around £30 for these and I was a bit disappointed when they did turn up because they do look quite cheap. They kind of look like something you could have got from Primark so I did feel a bit cottoned. Obviously it's not the same as spending about £500 on sunglasses but I still don't really like them. They just seem really cheap and flimsy and I only like the way these look when I wear my hair down. When I tie my hair up I don't really like how these look. But I have these even though it's winter now. We do sometimes still have quite sunny mornings so I do need these as well and they're handy to have in your bag just whenever you need them and then the last thing i have in here is my backup phone charger which has got really dirty and i don't know why i got this from primark it's around six pounds what you basically do is you will charge it through a usb cable on the computer and then this is a collapsible usb stick that you would plug into your phone and it just charges your phone on the go i haven't really had a need for this yet one of those things that i always feel i need to have because when my phone does run out in the middle of nowhere you definitely want to charge it i upgraded to the iphone 6s a couple of months ago and the battery life on that is amazing i used to have the 4s until around october and that did run out of battery quite quickly so i kind of bought this around that time so i haven't really had a need for it yet because the battery life on my new phone is so good but i still keep this just in case and then the next thing i have is a perfume this is the chanel coco mademoiselle perfume i really like this this smells of the signature soap and glory scent and then also i have a random chocolate in here from christmas i need to eat and then i have two gift cards that i got for christmas for river island but these are for now my purse got some tissues and then bizarrely i have a bag of walnuts in here because i'm a bit addicted to these so I always need them when I'm out I have a bit of a strange addiction to these I'm, I always crave them throughout the day so to stop me going out and buying a big bag I only eat a small handful of these a day but there's something like when I want them I want them there and then and these are the Waitrose ones these are the pieces which are better value for money you do seem to get more of them than if you were to buy the halves and these are the best ones I found so that's a bit of a random fact and then I have some chewing gum this is the extra white chewing gum this is in the bubble mint flavour I really like this chewing gum it works the same as normal chewing gum it freshens your breath but it also tastes of bubble gum it's really unusual but i'd really recommend trying this it basically tastes like hubba bubba but your breath gets fresh at the same time so it's really good i do really like these and then i also have a lipstick from maybelline this is in the shade 725 tantalizing type this is just basically a normal brown 
nude lipstick. I do really like this. And then the last thing I have in here is a anti-back from Soap and Glory. This is their handmade. This is basically their signature Soap and Glory scent. I haven't used this much because I only bought it a couple of days ago, but I do really like this. So that is everything in the bag. It does have another pocket back there and also a space for your phone and something else, whatever you want to put in there. But I don't have anything in there yet. I would also say, obviously, I also have my phone in this bag, but I'm actually using that to film at the minute. I just have the standard gold 6S in the 64 gigabyte, and I use that to film. The front camera is really good. So if you're starting out on YouTube like me, that was basically the main reason I actually bought the phone. And I'm really enjoying using it to film videos. It's really easy to use. So obviously, that's why that isn't in my What's in My Bag video, because I'm using that to film. But I think everyone knows what the iPhone looks like. So that was everything that was in my bag. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.